put up some good numbers, and one of those guys is my guest tonight, Troy Crichton. Uh, Troy, Sheldon High School product. Yes, sir. Yeah, did, did you enjoy your time down there at Sheldon, and did you have one of those, you know, spectacular Sheldon teams in your time there? Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed my time there, but actually my team was actually underrated. Everyone thought, like, we were we sucked. <laughs> but uh, we proved them wrong, and we were able to get to um, the section championships, but then we lost to um, Modesto Christian, so... But we were actually underrated. Yeah. yeah, but it was a good time. Oh, yeah, it was great. Good time. Speaking oh. of good times, you having a good time here at Jessup? Of course I am. First year, right? Uh, second year. I read in my first year. Well, then you didn't really get to play. Yeah. Uh, but was it worth it? Yeah, of course it was worth it. Yeah. yeah. And what do you do as a redshirt freshman? Do you get to practice? Uh, uh, basically, you're a scout team and you get to practice, but the main focus on being a redshirt is just obtaining as much information as you can. So then when the next year comes, you're more prepared to play. And, and does that also include things like getting in the weight room, adjusting to the speed of the game at the college level versus the high school level? Oh, of course. Yeah, the, high, the college level is way different from high school level. More physical, more faster. So your retro year, you got to really take advantage of it. And the other thing I would think that happens in that transition is in high school, you might have two, maybe three guys that are really good. Yeah. But then you got to fill in with a couple guys that are, I don't want to say marginal, but not the top players. Yeah. You come here, everybody's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and how long did it take you to adjust to that? Did it take that full redshirt freshman year? I would say so, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And when you when did it finally click? When did you finally go, okay, I get it, I can play here? I feel like this year I did. I feel like all the work that I put over the my redshirt year and the summer after that, I feel like I was finally ready to finally compete at the college level. And what's your favorite part about playing college ball? Uh, it's just just different from high school. It's a new, new environment. You know, it's a st- new step in my basketball career. Right. And, you know, just becoming an adult, too. And, and the road trips are longer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So where's your favorite place you've been on the road? Um, Because you guys have been a few places this year. I guess so far, uh, when we went to go play um, Masters and Vanguard in that area, you know, LA, SoCal is always great. And it's warm. The beaches and it's warm. And it's warm. Yeah. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest is kind of cold. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you got winds up there. So anywhere you can go to get winds, I think, is a good thing. Although I did enjoy going to Oregon because I'm a nature kind of guy. So seeing all the, you know, the nature is, you know, cool. And I hear you're pretty good friends with Duke Gibson. Oh, of course. Yeah, we're roommates, too. Yeah. Duke, I finally had to ask him why they call you Duke. And I guess it was his dad's name. Yeah, it is. His dad's name, which was, was kind of cool. Okay, question everybody gets when they come on a post game. What's okay. your favorite food? My favorite food? Ooh, that's tough. Um, I don't know if you know it. It's called Spam Musubi. It's like a Hawaiian. Okay, Hawaiian is dish. that the one I see on TV where they chop the stam, Spam up and throw it in the fry pan and put a bunch of stuff in it? No, no, no. Uh, spam Musubi is like, so you get a piece of Spam, mm-hmm. and then you get like a scoop of rice. It's mm-hmm. kind of like in a rectangle shape. Okay. Put the Spam on top. And then you put another like rectangle of rice on it, mm-hmm. and then you wrap it in seaweed. And you eat it like a sandwich? It's like a yeah. It's kind of like sushi. If well, you think but would it. you pick it up and eat it? Yeah. Do you cut it up and you eat it. You pick it up and eat it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and how often do you get to have that? Uh, not that much, but when I get to. Now, I, I can you make it yourself? I can, but I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite dessert? Just normal strawberry ice cream. Really? Yeah. Just strawberry ice cream. Do you like the one with the chunks of strawberry in it, or just the chunks. The, the, yeah? Chunks it's got to have some natural. Yeah, so it's like uh, Briars or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where do we go from here? I know uh, we got the Masters coming in, and you guys have probably already scouted them. Yeah, but we, just, we got one day to prepare, so that's going to be a little tough, but we just got to bring it. And in that one day, what is Coach having you guys do? Um, do you look at film? Uh, we do look you at scout film. team? I think tomorrow we'll probably look at film and then just see. And then scout team's going to – we're going to run – what plays they do and just prepare for what we can. But we got the main the main thing is though we got to rest. Yeah, that's the most important. Because masters is tough. Yeah. Now, do you guys go in? Do you have ice bucket baths and things like that to try to get your body yeah, rejuvenated? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and how cold really is it? I like ice baths personally. I take a cold shower every day, so I'm kind of used to the ice bath. Yeah. So I like it. Some other guys are probably nope. I don't, I don't even know. go Duke, near it. Duke hates it. <laughs> Well, that's because when he gets in the dang thing, the displacement pushes all the water out. He shouldn't worry about it. He's going to run water out anyway. Well, thanks for coming on today. Great game. Great season so far. Let's go get him on Saturday. Yes, sir. All right. That's Troy Crichton. And the Warriors win it 97-65. Thank him for being on the postgame show today. And remember, what's what's that sandwich called again? Called Spam Musubi. You should try it. Just go to Spam. Hawaiian Barbecue Place. Search it on Google. Spam Musubi. Yeah. Uh, because we're going to have a quiz on this. I've asked everybody that's been on the postgame show their favorite food and their favorite ice cream. What I'm hoping to get is pictures of all you guys and the food, and then you have to do this and figure out whose favorite okay. it is. So Spam Musubi, <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream, Warriors win, and we'll see you on Saturday afternoon. Another doubleheader. Ladies first, gentlemen, to follow right here at the arena. Thanks for tuning in. Good night and God bless from Jessup University. Yes, sir.